So the all the graduates, they study the anatomy, they study the physiology. That's a mix of, they use the methodology, certain methodology by the Western medicine, but they practice the indigenous medicine. They are very good. So when I, when I assumed duties, there were about 900 dot unemployed Ayurveda students, graduates. So no government looked at them. I employed everybody. Now there are no unemployed Ayurveda graduates in the country. And I have employed all over the country. All the indigenous, the Siddha, the Yunani, all the graduates were employed. Because we feel that it is not important. Because there was no public health in the Ayurveda, in the indigenous system here. So we set up. I said I wanted to create something like the MOH office. I said at least to work with the MOH or start a new building. I will give the money to start the new building or to rent the building. Buy the furniture, employ the minor staff, start work. That is what they are doing now. The public health side is not there. Only the curative for this time. So, all the provincial council, the indigenous medicine sectors are working very closely with us and we all take decisions together. We don't dictate any decision by the central government to the provincial council. Because I believe the provincial council system. I believe the devolution of power. I fought for devolution of power when the entire country, most in the entire south, was bombing us. I have three pieces in my body, in my skull, for campaigning for devolution of power and giving rights to the Tamil people. So I will not change my stance. So I am ready to devolve more and more powers of the central, my ministry to the provincial council and work with the central. So I, that is why I spend a lot of my money to the provincial council. One day the treasury asked me, how can I spend my money for the provincial council. I said, because you all don't give enough money to the provincial council. The health is for all. People are not bothered whether it is provincial council or the central government. They blame the government if there are no facilities. The people don't understand whether it is provincial council. They blame the government. So we have to provide. So therefore, for the past two years, I, I gave about 8 billion rupees from my accounts to the provincial councils. I released money to build up. Even today I am building all the hospitals everywhere. Even in the remote villages I do the things when they are on their request. So it is, that is why we all are together, we all work as a team. Sometimes we get the advice of the provincial councils to do certain things. And we listen to them and we get educated from them uh, so, uh, so on all the Ayurveda and the elephant.